Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Dottie from Doc McStuffins. So let's get started. To draw this cute doctor, let's first start by drawing her face. So we're going to come right here and basically draw the bottom of a U. But with Dottie here, it's going to be a wide U. So it's going to be wider up here. So let's come right across about in this area. And we're going to connect it at the bottom. So notice it's pretty wide right here. And then I'm going to go ahead connect with a curve at the bottom. There. Okay, so then now that we have that curve in, let's come back to the edge and we're going to draw a circle for her eyes. And same thing right across, right here. There. Okay, so then let's make them draw so cute eyes. I'm going to put two small circles inside for highlights. And a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. Okay, so now that we have these humongous eyes in, let's come to the side right here. I'm just going to draw two very simple lashes. Just curve out and another one. Then let's come to the top of her eye. And we're just going to draw a soft curve about right here. Just draw a soft curve over her eye. And same thing here. And let's give her a sweet smile, of course. So by in this area, go ahead and draw a curve, go slightly upwards and cap it off. There. Okay, so now we have her face and let's bring this, uh, let's see here. Let's draw her ears. So where her eyes are in this area, go ahead and pop out a curve for ear. Come in here for some details with two curves. And so same thing on the other side. All right here. There. And then now we can go ahead and draw her hair. So let's see. About right in this area right here, I'm going to start with a curve that comes up. And then I'm going to come in with a little zigzag and bring it down. And then this curve is basically going to go right over her brow. So it dips to the center. Uh, and goes up right over her brow and comes back down. So then right here, whatever space I have left, I'll just go ahead and connect it. Then let's come back to where her ears are in this area. And I'm basically going to draw a curve all the way to the top for her hair. So let's go all the way up. And the center is going to be highest and just come right back down. And then for some detail, she has this beautiful hair band. So right here where this um, tip is, come up. And then in this area, we're going to draw a flower. So I'll start with a circle. Uh, let's see here, how many petals? Five. Two, three, four, and five petals. And then we're going to draw her headband. So let's come right here. And I'm going to draw a little indication of this edge and then bring it up all the way across to the right there. Then thicken it up, following my top and connect. There. Okay. So we have her headband in. Actually, you know what? I should bring this down a little bit more. It should be at the same level, right? <laughs> 
Okay, much better. Okay, so then from there, we're going to go ahead and draw her pigtails. So right in this area, right underneath her ear, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve and three curves. Come out and we're going to connect it with a little tie and then the end. It's basically just a curve that comes out. So same thing over here. One, two, three. And it's getting smaller and then tie it off and then the ends there so cute right <laughs> okay so then now we're pretty much done with the head let's draw the body so right in the center let's give her a little neck and i'm going to connect this neck right here and because she has this cuff this lab coat that she's wearing so i'm going to come right here and draw a curve and a curve right in there and let's come out right here draw a curve to connect we're just drawing the collar right here okay so then now we can um, actually you know what then we need to draw another layer right here for her sweater right there and then we can go ahead and draw. So the reason I need to draw this first, her collar, is because we want to draw her stethoscope. So right in this area, following this curve, I'm going to connect it at the bottom. And then let's come out right here, uh, come in a little bit, and we're going to thicken this the stethoscope. Come right here. And then towards the center, go ahead, draw the bottom part, and then come right here, put in a line, and then the bottom. So the tube that comes out, and then the circle right on the bottom right here. And then another circle inside. There. Hopefully I helped you with that and I make it over complicated. Okay, so then from there, now that we have that in, we can go ahead and draw two angle lines right here for the for her coat. Okay, so then now we can come right in this area and I'm just gonna go ahead and angle line out and bring this down. So this is gonna be the sides of her lab coat. So this is coming through and I'll just keep bringing this down. So under her stethoscope, so about right in this area here, I'll go ahead for her sweater, draw a curve and then let's keep bringing this down. So you need to draw her skirt. So say about right there, I'll go ahead and stop and just wobble a curve across for her skirt. And then we can just keep bringing this down and connect. So same thing over here, there. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and finally draw her legs. So right in the center, let's come down It's getting thinner as we come down. And about right there, I'll stop and add a curve for the cuff of her shoe. And then we're gonna flare it out. So then for, um, you know what, let's draw this side first. So same thing. Connect. So for some details, just come in here, draw a curve, edge, 
and the two sides. So same thing here, curve at the bottom, the top, and the two sides. And then she has a pair of socks. So about right here, we'll just add a curve. And let's see here. Um, you can add some buttons on her lab coat. So let's see about right here. Two, and then pockets on the edge. Right here. You can even pop them out if you like. There. Okay, so then now finally we can draw her arms. So I will work on this arm first since it's simpler. It's just coming out. And so right after the stethoscope, we still want to draw her shoulder. And so her armpit would become about in this area. And I'm just going to bring down curve. And then there's a bunch of steps. So she has a cuff right here, so I'm gonna stop, but still continuing in the same direction. A cuff, and then her arm is gonna continue, and it's getting thinner as we come down. So we're aiming for her hands to be about in this area right here. So connect, and then now her hands. So just a curve. And out. Oops, way too sharp. <laughs> there. And two curves. Okay, so let me come in here really quickly because that's a mess right there you can't see. There. Now to draw her other hand, which is holding her um, bag. So I'm gonna come right here once again, just like the other side, shoulder. And so start about right here for the armpits. It's gonna come out. And about in the same area, we're gonna draw the cuff. And it's gonna bend a little bit, so it's gonna come down right here, just like the other side. And then now for her hands. So it's gonna come down. We're gonna give it a curve right here. Loop for where she's holding the handle. So let's bring this down. Curve and connect. Put two little lines right here. So in this area right here, we're gonna put the handle. So draw a curve that comes down. Curve, down. And then it's going to come across and angle in. Then underneath this handle, we're going to draw a curve right here for our bag. So this area, we draw a handle, and I'm going to angle right there to connect. And so then right in here, we're just going to go ahead and just taper everything in. Turn it back. Following the same angle as that, and then connect. So for the top right here, you can add another line for some detail. Now that I'm looking. Okay, so then I'm gonna angle for my bag. And then right in here, I'm just gonna add a heart. <laughs> Why not? Right for some details. So they're all done. I really hope you love my version of Dottie from Doc McStuffins and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Kid videos. See you later.